What's going on pros? Back here in another mod spotlight and this mod spotlight is called the project table mod. And what this mod basically adds is it adds something that's in TechIt that you might know of, you might not know of, but this is the yeah, the project table mod. And what it does is when you have a crafting recipe in the special project table, it will show the little item spinning and you could create it, but this is how you craft it. Like I have a project table with a project table crafting on it. And look at that. So this is how you make it. A crafting table, a chest, two planks, two iron ingots, and a piece of glass will make the project bench. And with the project bench, if I craft this, you see, well, oh God, it's glitchy. Eh, 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 there you go. So you see, some of the materials left, but these didn't. These are actual materials. I could take these out and stuff. But these, the materials didn't leave. These left. These, like, uh, got used. So if I use that again, it'll give me another project table. And now if I use it again, it'll lose all the things there. So you could put a bunch of items in and then put, like, a bunch of, uh, majigs. A bunch of like a crafting recipe in here and put a bunch of items that has to do with the crafting recipe you can make multiple of them and in in uh... oh god tech it you would put the pipes coming through and it will pump in items into here where the crafting table will be up here and then at the other side will pump out items but this will still be there as a blueprint so that's pretty cool i really like this mod so let, let, i'm just showing you a couple of things here like a bow you can use and you know it's like the same thing Ah oh God! You always have to. I when you leave and and bleh, when you leave the game, it it f's up sometimes. But yeah, look at that. Bows for days, and you could just practically make a bunch of stuff that you like, like diamond swords, and it's really useful. It's like for making pumpkin pies. That would be the best, cause you know, pumpkin pies are hard to come by these days. And you can see, and now you know I have enough weapons to last me for a long time. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this mod spotlight, this short little mod spotlight that I did. I put a lot of time into setting this setup up. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, well, me and Diggy's channel, subscribe and become a pro today. Bye. See you guys later. Hey, what's going on, pros? This is Diggy Man here, and I'm here to show you how to install this Project Bench mod. It's pretty cool, and I just seen the spotlight that Spikey made. It's I like it. I wish I could install it, but it conflicts a lot into other mods, and that magic. It would be a cool addition for it, but let's go on and install this mod. First thing you're gonna do is need these two right here: the Minecraft Forge and the Project Bench for 1.5.2. Next thing you're gonna do is go down to your start button. Go percentage, app, data, in your search bar down here, percentage, and go up to your roaming. You're gonna hit that and you find your dot Minecraft folder. You're gonna open that. And next you're gonna do is open your bin right here. Then you're gonna find your Minecraft jar file. You're gonna right click it and open it up with WinRAR or 7-Zip. I'm using WinRAR. I do have the link underneath this video for WinRAR. So if you wanna get it, go ahead and get it. There you go. Okay, so we open this up. Next thing you're gonna do is find this file. It's called the meta inf right here. You're gonna right click it and delete that file and say, yes, I wanna delete it. Okay, after you're done with that, you're going to open up your Minecraft Forge with WinRAR and then you're going to left click one of these and then right click it and select all files. All files should be highlighted. Minecraft Forge does have a meta inf, do not delete that one. Left click it, hold it down and bring it into this empty space over here in your Minecraft jar and let go of the button. There we go and press OK. Alright, close all windows out and start up your Minecraft so Forge could install itself into Minecraft. Come on, come on Forge, install yourself, get in there sucker, get in there sucker.
All right. Yeah, do a good job. Good job, Forge. Good job. You're my best friend, Forge. I love you. Mucho. Mucho, mucho, mucho. Okay. So it looks like it should be okay. And the mods are installed. The Minecraft Coder Pack. The Mod Loader. And the Minecraft Forge. You're done with that. Close down Minecraft. Make sure all your windows are closed. And come up to your start button. Go percentage, app that, percentage. And find your roaming. And find your .minecraft folder. And you're going to notice that Forge has made a couple of new files. And let's take a look at this project bench. You're going to open it up. And yes, all you got to do is grab this and find your mods folder inside there. Your .minecraft. And just drag your project file into the mods folder and let go. It should be in here like this. Then close out your windows and start up your Minecraft and it should be installed. It's easy as that pros. And we're going to start a new world and see how we should do a, a creative one. It should be working properly. And let's see. Yep, fourth mod is installed, Project Bench mod. And we're going to open the world up. We're going to start a creative world. Come on, come on, come on, baby. There we go. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, I landed in some water. Oh, is this a survival island? Oh, it is a survival island. Look at this. Just a little bit of snow biome. Oh, no, it's not. God darn it. It stretches out. It's a tease. Goes into mainland. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Anyway, let's look in here and look for this workbench. It should be, I think it's in here. There it goes. Project 1 workbench. Now, I love this. And if you guys really want to help our channel, like how we help you guys with our the mod spotlights, and showing you guys how to do all these. Just make sure to give us a like. Leave us a comment. Tell us how much you guys appreciate us. Making these mod spotlights. I am Diggy Man from Adventure Pros. And we're out of here. Later pros.